Black Panther Wakanda Forever has a lot to live up to. The last movie was excellent. It was nominated for a Best Picture Oscar, which you've never seen from superhero movies before. And there's some big shoes to fill with the absence of Chadwick Boseman, who sadly passed away two years ago from colon cancer. And the movie kind of thematically follows along that line. Wakanda, the society itself, is looking to fill in the gap left by Black Panther. He was their king and their protector, so the film's all about where does Wakanda go to next. And a certain rivalry steps up in the form of Submariner and some undersea society creatures who are kind of contending for Wakanda's spot in the global hierarchy. So there's some political intrigue here. This is a beautiful looking film. There's some great acting. A lot of the main cast from Black Panther is back, like Letitia Wright, Michael B. Jordan even makes it an appearance, and Angela Bassett. You also have Ryan Coogler still writing and directing. So a lot of the pieces are here, but this thing is just too long. It could have benefited from some sharper edits. And the CGI doesn't always look as good as it could have. There's some really good action sequences. This one moved a little bit slow. It didn't quite live up to the Black Panther standard. I'm giving it two stars out of four. Phil Burial, Kagan 9, on your side.